Hi guys, welcome to another ByteBend.com video. I'm in relaxed mode because I've just recorded this lab and I'm new to OBS Studio and I didn't have the right microphone selected so I recorded the whole lab um, with no sound. So I'm doing it again, <laughs> got a cup of tea, a bit more relaxed. Um, I want to say welcome to this. This is the first time I've done one of these videos where we've we've got the camera up and the mic up and we're doing some live labs. But you know it's cool, um, keeps us sharp. And so th these videos are going to be kind of based around some of the things we hear often in the community. Some of the how do you do this? How do you do that? Um, you know we're on Twitter and Reddit and. Facebook and Discord, there's all these different channels and we often hear the same questions pop up every now and then so you know I thought I'd address those questions in a lab. Um, one of the questions I hear a lot of is how do we install the company portal app from Intune? So let's give it a crack today shall we? Um, and that's an interesting question that's posed actually because in most scenarios, you don't actually deploy the app from Intune. Um, you know, I'll, I'll go into more detail. So we, there is some configuration we do in the Microsoft Endpoint Management Admin Center. Um, but it is the Microsoft Store for Business that installs the app when we deploy the app in online mode. And in this session, we'll go through what an online app is and an offline app is and when you should use an offline app from the Microsoft Store for Business and when you should use an online app. Um, one of the reasons, um, another reason why this video has come up as something that we should be doing is the announcement just recently in the Config Manager 2006 technical preview, well June of 2020, is that we can now see Config Manager apps in the company portal, which is cool. So it was announced in the technical preview back in June. Um, it is a feature in 2006, um, just released. So, you know, this is going to be useful. So, so some of you guys may not have deployed the company portal app. You may have just started doing some code management stuff. Um, have only just moved some workloads over. If you have moved some workloads over, you've maybe moved over the client apps workload, which is the easiest. Um, because when you move the client apps workload, essentially you're saying, let me install apps from Intune and let me install apps from Config Manager. So it's a pretty um, non-invasive, easy workload to move. And the cool thing is now that all your apps appear in one place, you know, um, and this is actually a feature of the new company portal app. So the August version of the company portal app that's rolling out, version 11, um, means that if you have the client apps workload moved across for your clients, um, the apps will appear um, without requiring Config Man 2006. You know, it's, so there are some things that um, the latest version of Config Man does bring to the table um, in client settings, and we'll save that for a different video. Um, so let's let's get back on track. So today we're looking at deploying the company portal app from Intune. Okay, so I just wanted to give a bit of background as to why I'm looking at that at the moment. So let's pop across to our desktop. And um, okay, in, in my browser, I have the Endpoint Manager Admin Center open. And I also have my store for business open for my tenants. Um, this video won't focus on how you set that relationship up. I'm going to assume we've already done that. Um, so if we take a look in our tenant um, if we have a look at tenant administration and look at connectors and tokens we can see that we are active our store for business is linked with our intune tenant so that's the first thing you're going to want to make sure you've, you've got up and running and i can pop a link in the video below to show you guys how to run through that it's very straightforward i've just done a sync here i've just pressed the sync button that will synchronize any apps in your store for business inventory with Intune and it will make those apps available within the apps workspace. So if we if we click on the wrong button, 
If we click on apps and if we filter by Windows platform, these are the applications that we are currently synchronizing with the store for business. And we don't have the company portal app. So let's head over to store for business and get that sorted, shall we? Okay, I've got to briefly just cover that. I'm not going to dwell on this, um, but there are two different versions of the company portal app. Just bear with me with this one. Um, when we go to add the app from the from the store for business, let's search for it, shall we? Let's search for the company portal. And this is just the catalog. We're browsing for apps here. You can see I've got the option to get the app as an online app or as an offline app. Now, if you don't see that option, um, you're just going to get it as an online online app only. So for those of you guys doing autopilot provisioning um, and you want to deploy the company portal app, you'll have to deploy it as an offline app and keep that managed by Intune. Um, and if you don't see the option to choose between online and offline, it means you haven't enabled that setting within the store for business. So if you pop along to manage and then go to settings, and at the very bottom, you need to toggle show offline apps. And once you have that, you'll be able to see that distinction when you add apps into the business store. So let's pop back and add our company portal app. Okay, so we're gonna get the online app. Just a side note, if you did do decide to deploy the company portal as an offline app, um, it will be installed via the Intune management extension and you will have to manage the updates for that app as well from Intune. Um, those apps won't be updated automatically on the client's PC. Now, when you deploy it as an online app, it's actually the store for business that does the installation and the application is kept up to date via the store for business. So all, in, all Intune is doing is saying, here's an app, go and get it. It's actually the store for business that's doing all the funky work underneath. Anyway, let's cut the chase. Let's get the app. And there we go. That is all we need to do in the store for business. You know, it's added it to the inventory. So if I pop now and look at my apps, I should see the company portal app in here. We'll just give it a few moments. Let's just do a refresh. Who doesn't like the F5 key, hey? There we go, the company portal is added to our inventory. Um, just as a side note, you guys probably know this because you use a store for business, but if we did want this to appear in our private store on the end user's device, we can assign here to everybody or to specific groups. Now. That would look something like this. So when they access the store on their PC, so they're signing into Windows with an Azure AD account with single sign-on enabled, um, which logs them into the store. They're able to see their private tenant. So we're using my Byteben tenant here. And if I allowed them to see it within the private store, they would see the app listed here. So that's pretty handy. You know. Anyway, I digress. Strictly speaking, we just need to add the app to the inventory in the store for business and that's all we need to do. I've, I've run on for far too long. What we then do is pop back to the Endpoint Manager Admin Center and if we go to Tenant Administration, Connectors and Tokens and hit the Sync button. Give it a moment. If we head back to Apps, filter by the Windows platform. Refresh, and there we see the company portal. Whoa. Now all that is left for us to do is to assign the company portal app to our users. So this is a lab. Um, you maybe don't want to assign it to all users in your environment. Maybe you do. Um, you'll have to give that some thought. I'm going to assign it to all users. Well, actually, you know, let's be a little bit real world here. I'm going to add it to a user group who are licensed for Office 365. There we go. So, so I've added it to the required section. I've added the group. If 
for my Office 365 users. If I save that. And that's all we need to do in the admin center. I'm going to pop across now to a Windows 10 client that is managed by that Intune tenant. Um, don't grill me for having the old Edge still installed. That's, that's another lab coming up, how to deploy Edge and manage Edge with Intune. Okay. So while that's just sitting there in the background, actually I want to show you guys this. If I pop along to devices in the admin center, so this is the, this particular device in my lab. Um, if I have a look at managed apps, I can see the company portal app is a required install and it's waiting for installation status. So this device, no, there's an application for it. We'll just hit the sync button and wait. I'm going to sip some more tea because I've done this lab twice now. So I know it works. So I'm pretty chilled out about it. And there we go, company portal app is installing. Great stuff. Now what you won't see is any magic happening in the Intune management extension log. So this is the store for business doing this here, guys. Um, the logs aren't cracky with the store for business. You can run the command WS Connect. Let's get my Zoom sorted out. WS Connect. Oh, collect. Need more T. WS Collect. Exe. That is going to collect the store logs for the client. They are pretty useful, you know, just to get an idea of what's going on in your PC. So it pulls them out as a cab file. Um, we have to ex extract them. And if we have a look in here, there's a whole bunch of logs that tells you what's going on with the store for business. Um, if we open the reporting events.log, we should see in here. There we go. So to prove this is a Sunday evening, it's nearly 11 p.m. Uh, we can see the company portal app had started and the company portal installation was successful. Boom, happy days. So let's just check it works, shall we? There's company portal. We'll pin it to the start menu because it deserves its place there. We'd open the company portal, single sign-on takes effect because I have an Azure AD user logging in. Now, this is gonna take slightly longer than normal because this client is a co-managed client and it has the client apps workload moved across to Intune. And it is also Pull the latest version of the client from the store for business. So with those prerequisites met, this client is now able to see both config manager apps and apps from Intune in the company portal. So this is cool. Um, as I said at the beginning of the video, Config Manager 2006 is a prereq uh, for some of the client settings. Um, you can change the behavior of notifications between the software center and the company portal app but to actually see the apps it needs to be a co-managed client with a workload moved across to client apps and it needs to be the, the august release of the company portal app and with those met 
you can see we have config manager apps cool so i'm, I'm just going to spend two seconds just showing you guys um, i know that this font is deployed on prem from config manager and you can click on the additional information tab and see the management services config manager for the app cool i won't dwell on that because if this video was all about installing the company portal app from intune um, i hope you guys found that useful i'm going to put some links below um, you know to help you out with that on some of the prereqs um, and i think we'll leave it there any questions um, stick it in the comments below uh, thanks for watching